What's up guys, Asian here again with another PTS video and today we're going to be taking a look at the Magicka DPS racial comparisons as of PTS patch 4.3.3. So the last video I did on racial comparisons was in 4.3.0 I believe. Um, and so at that's this point there have been three additional patches to kind of rebalance the racial changes. The most significant of which was the change to the Khajiit passive. So Khajiits no longer have that crit damage, or I should say they don't have that crit chance anymore. It has been changed to crit damage. So in place of the 8% spell crit, they now have 10% crit damage instead. And that kind of uh, kind of rebalances the field for Magicka DPS racial options, at least. So, in this particular racial comparison, I did compare four different races. Um, I compared Khajiits, Bretons, Ultmer, and the Dunmer against each other. Uh, I did it on two classes. I did one on Magicka Nightblades to represent the crit classes, and I did one on the Magicka Dragonite to represent the non-crit classes. Now. Of course, this does not necessarily mean that a mag the results for Magicka DKs can be extrapolated out to Magicka Sorks or even Magicka Wardens. And likewise for Magicka Nightblades, that doesn't necessarily mean the results will remain the same if you were a Magicka Templar. However, the results should be, the differences should be small enough that you can use these results to kind of basically say, okay, all non trait classes we should see around this amount. Um, so. You will still need to kind of, you know, be aware of the intricacies and nuances between each individual classes, uh, but ultimately these results should be applicable across, the, at least the very least, those those classes of, of classes. So before we go ahead and get into the numbers, I do want to just point out my particular setup here. Uh, I pretty much kept the setup entirely the same across all of the different um, different races. The only thing I changed out was the race themselves. So enchants, food, gear. Everything like that was kept exactly the same across each of the different races. So I used two pieces on, one heavy, one medium, so we are going 5 one, one. Did use Perfect Sororia on the body piece and on our front bar piece set, we did have Spell Strategist. Three Bloodthirsty with three Spell Damage Enchants. Uh, I had an Infused and Flame Damage Enchant on the front bar, and then I had an Infused Shock Damage Enchant on the back bar. And I did adjust for the Minor Vulnerability Uptime from this Shock Damage Enchant. Um, so I did take that Minor Vulnerability Uptime and then adjusted our parses accordingly. Um, so don't worry about necessarily seeing abnormally high parses. I did adjust for that Minor Vulnerability uh, RNG there. All points were into Magicka. I did use the Thief for all of our tests. Uh, the Shadow could have been used as well, but I decided to stick with the Thief regardless. I did use Parse Food, so this is Ghastly Eyeball. Um, this is just to kind of eliminate the Sustain issue uh, as a potential variable. Uh, that being said, uh, Sustain is going to be an issue, or I should say would be a something you want to keep an eye on, uh, particularly for Ultimer and Dunmer. Uh, however, I do believe that based on my results, uh, that if you are using something like Clockwork Stitch Filet or let's say Witchman's Potent Brew and you have Orb Support or you have a Worm, uh, you should be able to fully sustain a light attack rotation as an Ultimer or a Dunmer. Um, the reason we are concerned about that is because those two races do not have any sort of sustained passives. Khajiits at the very least get 85% additional Magicka regen and Bretons have 7% cost reduction, which you've already worked out to be very, very powerful. Uh, and uh, overall for sustain and then obviously in terms of skills we just pretty much use the complete uh, meta setup here um, the one thing I will take note of here is on the magic DK we did have an open slot on the front bar here so I decided to use spell sim and also we are running shooting star on the front bar as our ultimate instead of the destro staff ultimate and that's just because we no longer need the destro staff ultimate to maintain our ancient knowledge passive so we decided to go with shooting star for that 2% additional max magicka and magicka regen uh, and then, so, again, the only thing I changed out was the race, so in this case I finished off as a Khajiit, so if I wanted to retest, let's say, Breton, I would just race change to a Breton and get, regain my racial passes and just continue my parsing that way. So now that we've kind of set up our conditions, let's go ahead and swap over to the spreadsheet itself so we can get some final numbers here. So here we are, we have our numbers here, so we have Magic Knight Blade on the top and uh, DKs on the bottom here. So... For Magicka Nightblades, our strongest, nah, not surprisingly, came from the Ultimers at 50.5k or so. Dunmer came in second with 50.4k. Khajiits came in uh, after that with 49.5k average, and then Bretons came in uh, at the rear with 48.7k here. 
Now, the differences between Altmer and Dunmer are to be expected. They both have the spell damage passive, and they both have max magicka passives. Dunmer just have a little bit less, I believe it's 125, less base magicka. So, as you can anticipate, the Altmer should be the strongest, with Dunmer falling not far behind here, and that's reflected here in the percentage differences, uh, with only 0.16% difference between the two of them here. Bretons, on the other hand, they are going to be a little bit lower. They do have higher sustain, but because uh, we were using parse food we didn't necessarily have to worry about and absorb magicka in yet reducing the dps of altmer and dunmer that being said bretons do not need an absorb magicka enchant to fully sustain a light attack rotation if we were to use a uh, absorb magicka enchant on an altmer or a dunmer and we kept using a shock damage enchant or even a, a berserker enchant on the back bar for bretons then bretons do probably stand a chance of beating out or coming close to the Ultimate and Dunmer. So that's just something to keep in mind here, that the Bretons might be a little bit artificially low just because of using parse food. If we were using something like Clockwork Switch Filet to kind of replicate more realistic scenarios, uh, raid scenarios, then the Bretons should, at least in theory, be closer to the Ultimate, Dunmer, and the Khajiits. Um, so overall, our percentage differences actually aren't that bad. Uh, it's 3.5 is the largest difference in terms of uh, kind of percentage differences uh, between the Altmer and the Breton here. In terms of absolute difference, this is only about a 1.7k difference in DPS, which will increase obviously with raid buffs to probably around, let's say, 4 or 5k or something like that at most. Um, so in terms of min-maxing, yes, you are probably going to want to go with a high elf as your uh, racial option, but uh, obviously you can see here that Bretons do do very well and they do have the additional sustain passive which is actually quite strong uh, so that's just something that you want to keep in mind here remember the altmer no longer have the additional magic and sustain passive uh, so you do need to kind of take that into consideration if you are going with races now we have the Magicka DKs on the bottom here, and these results are actually much closer than I anticipated, and I believe part of this is because of the need to use spell symmetry to sustain a light attack rotation, even with parse food. Uh, that is right, Magicka DKs, your sustain is that bad that you do need to use uh, spell symmetry in order to sustain using parse food, which is pretty much as much regen as you can possibly get here. Nonetheless, though, we still see that the Altmer uh, are at the top, followed by the Dunmer, and then the Khajiits and Bretons shortly afterwards. So the percentage difference is much smaller here with the Magic DK. It's only about slightly less than 1% difference between the Altmer and the Bretons. But again, I believe that is because of the cats with Spell Sim. So if you're casting Spell Sim more and you're not using a that global cooldown on a damaging ability, you are going to end up losing DPS as an Altmer, Dunmer, and Khajiits. Bretons, because of your sustained passive, I only had to use one spell sim cast every rotation. So that basically allowed us to do more spambles to deal more damage overall compared to the Altmer and the Dunmer, where I had to use spell sim at least five or six times per um, per rotation, which means I'm giving up, you know, five to six uh, lava whips. Uh, so that is something that you do want to keep in mind here. That is why the Bretons are a little bit higher here compared to on the Magicka Nightblade there. But again, the percentage differences aren't actually all that big. Um, difference between the Altmer and the Dunmer, again, very, very small as to be expected. Uh, the Khajiits did do better here compared to on a Magicka Nightblade, and I believe that is because of the lower crit chance and the loss of the crit damage on a Magicka DK. So Magicka Nightblades do get a little bit higher crit due to assassination passives, and of course they do have that 10% additional crit damage, which means the Khajiit crit damage bonus is going to be is going to have smaller returns overall compared to on like a Magicka uh, Dragonite or a Magicka Sork or a Magicka Warden instead. So overall, it does seem like, uh, in terms of parses, that Ultima are going to be winning out here with the Dunmer not far behind here. Bretons should theoretically be closer to Khajiits, as, at least in terms of Magicka DKs, but we can see that that is the case here uh, with the Magicka Dragonites. One caveat to these tests are that these are self-buffed tests, so the, I do not have raid buffs, I don't have Warhorn, I don't have Minor Berserk on my Magicka Nightblade, or Magicka DK I should say, uh, so t take this with a slight grain of salt here. Uh, these will not necessarily be representative of DPS differences uh, across different races uh, in a raid scenario, but just because these are only self-buffed tests. So. Just bear that in mind if you are going to be take, using these numbers and comparing them against other content creators who might be doing their own testing, potentially with different scenarios. So that is it for this video. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Hopefully you guys found this informative, and I'll see you guys in the next dungeon.